I'm with Chris Pappy on the number one 242 in the country. He will be competing this weekend against Scott Smith, the number two single ply 242 in the country at USPF Nationals in Chicago. Chris, after the results of the Olympia where you beat Scott Smith, what do you think your chances are against the completely healthy Scott Smith in a rematch that happens to be in his hometown? Man, um, honestly, Scott's a really good lifter, so, I mean, I'm 50-50. There's a part of me that's very confident, and there's a part of me that says, you know, I make one mistake and I'm going to lose. Um, but this is what powerlifting is about to me. It's about matchups and uh, two people facing each other. So if I'm saying that I'm going to go for a national title, then I feel like I should face the best person in my weight class. And that happens to be Scott. So, Chris, what is your basic game plan for the meet? My basic game plan is to open up at about 7.99 on squat and then just put pressure on them with uh, small jumps from 21 to 30 pounds and uh, just not to miss an attempt. Um, I feel like if I can not miss an attempt, I can put enough pressure on Scott where I can make him make mistakes. How do you feel competing in Ed, Ed Cohen's hometown, knowing that he will be present to watch you and Scott go at it? I know you look up to him. Uh, I've always looked up to Ed. I've always looked up to Scott, too. I mean, me and, I consider Scott a friend, and you know, me and him go at it head to head or whatever, but you know, um, it, it's going to be fun. You know, this is what I grew up in is the USPF and the single ply division and uh, chasing those numbers in the USPF, and you know, this is what, what I live for. A lot of people say the USPF Federation is dead. What's your take on that? I mean, I, it kinda, I take offense to it because you got to remember that, that there's so many legends that came through the USPF, from Steve Goggins to Ed Cohn, you know, uh, uh, Rick Goggler, you know, Mike Bridges, Ryan Selly, Scott Cartwright, uh, Brian Siders. I can name a list of people who have paved the way, Jill Mills, Milo Mills. You know, those people have created history for us. It doesn't matter if there's never another USPF meet. There will always be memories of the USPF and the legacy that it left. So to say something that is going to die, and I, I don't agree with that. I think that no matter what, that we'll always have it in our heart. You know, it's easy to talk about the USPF, but I challenge any lifter that thinks they're legit to go set an American record in the USPF. Go to the USPF where Ed Cohn squatted 1,019 single ply 242, pulled 901 pounds at 220. Uh, twi uh, Mike Bridges go well into the 2100s single ply and, and marathon suits. I mean, try to set an American record in the USPF and you'll see exactly the legacy that it leaves because it's not easy. You know, there's been so many people that have come to that federation and done a lot. So it's not dead to me. I'm going to be there Saturday trying to wake it up.